All right, everybody, we're back. Jack Reynolds, you missed round one. That's what happened. It was a good one. All right. The U.S. came out and they lost their striker right away, but they pushed all the way to the defense point all right. uh, command, and uh, got secured in there. But then the insurgents came back and surrounded them and pushed in and just wiped them, cleaned them from like four different angles. It was it was beautiful. It was great coordination and communication. Good job by Dr. Kamikaze leading them to victory. And let's go over that real quick. You're good. You're good. Uh, the commands and the squad leaders on the U.S. this time. Dr. Kamikaze is going to be the commander. And he's got four squad leaders. That's Lish, Krusty, the sailor. Uh, Tedish and Big Yes. Uh, I don't know if we got Big Yes. Uh, so okay, oh, yeah. There they are. <laughs> the smaller squad. Right what do you have, Kirkley? Kirkley's here with me. Uh, over on the uh, INS this time. Uh, Karma Cut's commanding. Uh, he's got Shadow Ritual, Google Tricks, uh, Nasty Nate, Truth Realm as his squad leaders. So, all pretty experienced guys. Uh, I think all of them has been squad leading for a couple months now. So. Always good to have those experienced squad leads to lead all the fresh troops. Yeah, th this is good. We saw great squad leading in the first round by both teams. They all they all got it done. They got it set down. And uh, yeah, last round, just worked US, together good. the U.S. actually didn't lose a squad leader the entire time they were pushing. Uh, they only lost a squad leader once they were actually in their final location. So uh, props to them for that. Yeah, and the insurgents actually, their squad leaders did good. Tedish had a few, he died early, but he got quite a few kills. Uh, Lish made it to the end. Krusty got his guys pushed in from the south, had all those smokes thrown in round one before he went down. So they did a good job. Both sides. We got a lot of cameras tonight, too. I'm going to go over them real fast because I didn't get to address that in round one. Hey, command. We'll go in order. We'll give everyone a, a good shot here. Of course, you got me. But we've also got a crazy Russian. I guess the, the insurgents aren't spawned in, so we can't go to some of them. But crazy Russian is one. We've got Digit. We have got Google Trex. Google Trex is a squad leader. We've got Alexa with us tonight. We've got Hyper Evo. Started backing away, but they were like literally getting ready to rush you guys. Han Solo. Like yeah, line information because I can't if I'm in like say. Load that one. C M Y K matter. Digit is there. We've got that. Big Yes. We've got Best Pony. No, that's our first S. Anyways, that's why you never, ever, ever, ever do anything but stand or crouch quietly with your safety shovel before the office started. That's, that's and I guess the rest are insurgents who are Truth Realm, Shadowed Ritual. And I think that's yeah, it. You don't know how to squat ups. I had a guy get stuck in a barrel. Krusty the Sailor's a camera too, and he's here. Uh, west, I think he's on the US. Live on Krusty. We're not going to have much resistance moving to that location. Anyway, it looks like this is the chosen location for the US. This, this area. It's an interesting on spot. It's his squad that's pushing. Oh, okay, I think they're still moving. I'm not sure. And maybe they're waiting to see uh, where those cache locations were. I don't know if you guys can see those yet. but Actually, yeah, they can because I can see them now too. All right. So, I mean, that so would definitely be unexpected, setting up in a river valley instead of a compound. Oh, but, there goes Tedish. Yeah, moving. There, there they go. I'm not sure where they're going to pick, but they, yeah, they were already headed this way, and I saw the caches appear on my screen, and I'm on their team. So. Yeah, I wonder if they're headed for that compound in uh, is that D10 key four. Yeah, it looks like that's the one right there. Delta 10 keypad four. Uh, pretty sure uh, I was commanding this op once, and uh, 
held up in that little compound. It's pretty nice because it buds up right, to the, right next to the edge of the map there. So that's just one direction that the INS can't assault you from. Yeah, that is good. You can get there's a little elevation advantage there and some good cover in the trees, so it's very pushable. Uh, if they can get a, their striker down here on the south side, that can really, really screw with them and open it up to the to the north a little bit. But we'll see. I, I know we've seen this one time before, but I don't know if we streamed it. And it's good. This is going to be a good one. I love all those little rocks in that field right there. It's an interesting place to watch a firefight. And a big thanks to CCFN for checking us out. We love you guys. And thanks for coming here. That sounds good to me. I think I'll roll with that. You'll see the ops guys there this weekend. We'll be there tomorrow or today, whenever it is, whatever time it is. And the reason for this is, well, fucking, I don't know if this is a smart, a smart decision or a bad decision. Are the insurgents ready? It looks like Karma Cut's asking. Uh, yeah, Karma Cut's been asking for a time, uh, so it's all up to the U.S. They're itching to spawn in, it seems like. Right, they've got. Sounds like they've got a couple of nice ambushes planned. Uh, I heard something about a motorcycle, so we'll see if we get one of those kamikaze bikes moving in there to maybe take out the U.S. striker. It's always fun to watch. Oh, that'll be beautiful if we see that. Yeah. But. So it looks like this is the U.S. Uh, compound. Let's just said INS can spawn. So. What I've picked up from uh, the INS command comms, they're going to have one squad searching the entire western half, uh, looking for these U.S. forces. Uh, the other squads are going to be setting ambushes, one in the north, one right in the middle, and then one on the south side of that river. Uh, so it seems like they're going to be able to know where the U.S. are coming from and hopefully find uh, their little holdout force before they even get reinforced. Well, that's good. That's good. We'll see where the U.S. want to go. They're definitely going to try to push to the south early, but it's not always how it's going to work out for them. I'm like, wait, that's uh, Kamikaze says U.S. is ready, so uh, yeah. probably yeah. a live time here soon. We'll see a live time shortly, which is good. INS spawning on three different locations, so all three possible spawns are going to be nice and spread out here. What? Y'all are slow. What's up, Mr. Roski? Seven. CMYK matter doing some calisthenics. My ZK was stuck. I had to clean it up no. with a fucking knife. Ten. What the fuck? <laughs> In the meantime, it looks like we got meditation going on over at Radio Tower. Let's just guess. Perhaps, perhaps a slight <laughs> motivational speech. I don't know. Could be forming the cult of squad ops. What the fuck? What the fuck? And you know what? There is still a command chat going on. <laughs> Kamikaze is just throwing up every possible scenario he could think of that's going to happen. <laughs> it's been dead quiet over here on INS for a minute or two now. So, surprised we don't see a live time yet, but. Yeah, there is nothing. I'm just saying I'm, I might hop out. Hey, I say it took damage from the healing. And then tell you to, like, fire. Oh, thank you. I might have to make it. Oh, there it is, 116. That's 40 uh, seconds from now. Yep. Well, so here we, we go. Action. Yeah, let's see if we get into the action as quickly as we did last round with that uh, striker ambush. Do you know which uh, route the U.S. forces are going to take with their vehicles? No, I do not, but I'm going to go follow it because they are heading to Radio Tower, or Fabras is what it's called on the map. So that's where they're going to head to. Because uh, if they come right down this main road right there, they've got two whole INS squads waiting for them. So hopefully they don't head that way. Yeah, I'm kind of flying right over them as I'm heading back to the striker location. We'll see if they go south far enough. It sounds like they're just going to book it right out of there when they start. And we're live now, so here we go. 
We'll follow the, vi the vehicles here. Hey, get ready to turn around. around. So. Sabrowski. Yeah, they're trying to decide where they're going yet. I can yeah. hear, hear hollering and local. They're trying to figure it out. It looks a little bit undecided right now. It's given <laughs> INS a great chance to set up these ambushes, so uh, I think this is going to be oh, a fatal mistake. They're buddy, setting yes. the Lodgy first. It's suicide <laughs> Lodgy, apparently. That's, oh, this. All right, then. They're going to hear these trucks coming. They're going to get these IEDs oh, down. Oh, yeah. RPGs out already. Uh, they've got this IED right in the middle of the road. Hopefully they take that bridge right there. The if they keep going down this road, it's not going to end well for them. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to see. There they go, taking the left. All right. And he hits a tree, oh. but at least they're taking the left. <laughs> it must have been intentional to let that striker go in front. No, nope, not oh, quite. Or safe. maybe not. Keep yep, going. maybe not. <laughs> keep going. We got driving. It's... I don't even know. El Sabrowski. Leading the way. So they did bypass that first INS squad, but uh, they're definitely getting rid and smack into this second squad here. Oh yeah, and you could guarantee they've been reported by the other squad. Oh, they're running right into them. Here it comes. Oh yeah, we've got... Oh man, they're laying down. Oh, good IED hit. Oh, there actually was a Someone's friendly dead. fire from that IED, yeah. Oh yeah, kill the friendly. Uh, looks like that killed both of the Lodgy truck uh, people, both people in that Lodgy and truck. And the Lodgy is down. Uh, one tap is uh, taking out INS as he moves yep. away through the field. Both guys are down. The striker is lighting him up. Get us moving, striker. Uh, striker took striker, one move, hit move, though. Move. It looks like uh, uh, three zero uh, got an RPG shot on him. It's just pushing right on up though. We'll see how this ends for them. Oh man, uh, there's another ooh, striker. Took another here. hit, yeah. It's, oh, a third, a third one. I believe that thing will burn out with those three RPGs. Oh, hits. and he gets it bridge. stuck. Oh. Ooh. Alexo bails out. out. I think he's going to go down here. He... Oh, he <laughs> crawls off the bridge. Oh, he just got in out time. just in time. Yeah, no kidding. Crawled right off that bridge. That was lucky for him. CMYK matters here. The Fafinator is here. Alexo's still alive under the bridge. Uh, he's surrounded yeah, by Anna's forces right now. Let's see if his buddies can get to him in time. Nasty Nate's putting in the sneak and he takes him Ooh, out. Alexo's yep. down. Good shots by Nate there. Unlucky for Alexo. Uh, uh, round one, I believe, he went down in an uh, IED attack as well. So. Ooh, it's crispy gets taken out. That's Fafinator laying down the saw fire. Uh, he doesn't see Nasty like, Nate. Uh, Nasty Nate gets him. It's two for Nasty Nate. CMYK like, matter and Wantat man are the last two here with I guess warm coneheads near nope. Oh yeah, warm, warm conehead cone just goes down. If they pass the yeah, baton, looks we like these two are just gonna hide out in these buildings. Hopefully hold them nope, up as long as possible. Alright. Uh, insurgents coming in hot though. Being alive is more important than oh. getting to the objective. Right? Sure matters yep, matter takes out pure paradise. Are you down? Nope, killed him. Nasty Nate and and matter are just uh, mere foot away Ooh. across the wall. We actually have two INS yeah, infantry right, right outside of the US's FOB location. Roger. If you go down. Yep, whiskey rushing is even a thing in, in One Life Operations. I've got about the second fastest round time. Oh, matter gets taken out by nasty Nate from the east. Know. Good. Good flank by Nate. Way to clear that building. Good clear by the insurgents right there. Yeah, copy that. Um, they're right on top uh, of us, but they don't know we're here yet. Let's INS see. is Want actually man. Hard contact. INS is in the compound with uh, the U.S. forces. Five guys, no Wantat man's lit, and he is crawling away. He's the last one left in that squad. Oofta. Rough hit for them. He's making shots. The rest of them got there. Good luck to Wantat, man. But the rest of the... Shit! 327, 327, get down, get down. This, this 327, 327. US are there, They're aren't very they? Close yeah. Very close Already coming in. They are fucking right on us. Let's throw frags over. Throw frags. Copy, I'm out of frags. All stand up and get 249 fire. And here comes the artillery. Right. US forces are closing in on their chosen fab location. 
truck as well. contact. Three, four, five. Side three because of the... Uh, Ooh, uh... INS command chat just said that Karma Cut has been down for quite a while now, so not sure when that happened, but INS has once again lost their command. Oh wow. He likes to lead from the front. Ah, uh, that he does, and uh, over to the west here, there's going to be a couple conflicts going on here. You got a US squad closing down, an INS squad laying down in a field. Looks like. Um, there's definitely artillery fire coming in. Yeah, okay, INS so is aware of which compound the U.S. is holding out in. Oh holding out in, but, uh, Ooh, that's getting close. They're pretty scattered. Yeah, that artillery fire is getting close to the U.S. They're moving in, though. There's two. There's Zako and Monkey Bullet. Oh, Monkey Bullet Ooh. takes out Good somebody. Shot. Keeping them pinned in that field right there. Oh, Zako, Zako. Zako goes down. Bullets left. Frag out. Uh, we're nine to nine right now, so really even on this. Uh, I think this first little portion. But looks like once again the U.S. forces are going to make it to their chosen fob location. Uh, we'll see how they manage to hold it. Do better. Yeah, they're, and they're making it with heavier casualties this time for sure, and and heavier casualties for the insurgents too. So. A little more but, aggressive uh, play by both teams led to actually yeah, more push, casualties. Push uh, don't forget, U.S. actually lost their FOB truck as well, so they're not going to be able to construct really any defenses once they actually get their FOB up. Yeah, they'll uh, only be, have their initial 200 or so. Yeah, there'll be no mortars, no uh, machine guns, just a couple sandbags, maybe some barbed wire if they want it. I'm right above the compound. And, you know, there's only insurgents to the north, pretty much. What are we looking at kills wise? Tied pretty much. Uh, INS is relocating their uh, artillery truck. I don't want to flip this shit. I'm good. That's why I'm slowing down. Dr. Kamikaze still alive. He's giving the order still. I'm getting a lot of good squad comps still. Sounds like uh, Shadowed Ritual is taking command for the INS forces. He's uh, trying to organize these guys. Uh, these actually might not actually be aware of where the U.S. is holding out, and they know they took contact to the south there, but not exactly sure which compound it actually was. So INS still might be looking for those U.S. forces. Hey, Mike, if you can just I do there, see so. the INS moving towards the compound that the so U.S. are in. They're, they're, yeah, they're still a ways out. They might be doing the uh, same thing that happened before, uh, kind of regrouping, just taking the big and wide the swings in and closing the gap. So this will be interesting. Um, it'll help the it'll help the U.S. to swing line. back into the compound, and I'm not sure what the plan is. They've definitely got a good perimeter. But there's a lot of insurgents off to the east, way out there. Yeah, those are all the guys who managed to take out that striker and company. So I've seen a little bit of action. Yeah, probably itching for a little bit more. Yeah, there's expert in chat. He says, oh, no, not that compound again. Yeah, I knew we'd <laughs> seen this compound before. I think I've seen it two or three times now. Hey, uh, Best Pony, they're moving northwest. And there they are shooting uh, north. Uh, they're going to be in but U.S. has actually left a couple guys uh, kind of on the exterior walls, it looks like, so I think that's a good idea, a little bit of a screen before they actually hit their extra compound, so... Yeah, I like I like forming that big perimeter out there, like a moat almost, and you can fall back through it if you need to. Yeah, because last round, uh, U.S. just kind of alamoed right in their original compound and just got taken out from all sides, but this is looking much more spread out, much nicer. Your, uh, your small gunner shooting in the right direction. Yeah, that's uh, Shadow's trying to get information where exactly they're taking contact from. Well, Dr. Kamikaze knows where they're at. Best Pony knows where they're at. He's taking command of whatever squad he's with because of people dying. That's vicious squad. They hear the enemy techie coming. Yeah, these U.S. forces on all these low walls, that's going to be hard to run across those open fields like that. They're going to have to use the rivers, use the tree lines to get close. Yep, the U.S. are now on defense, so 
they're just going to wait. And they've got, I like how they've got a good perimeter kind of outside uh, of it. Really nice to see. It's going to be a lot harder. A lot harder for the insurgents to really outflank them. But here comes the rocket already. Let's see what happens. Where's it going to hit? Oh, it might be too far. Enemy vehicle north. I don't even know where it hit. Uh, it, oh, oh there it is. Way far. Yeah, <laughs> there edge of the it map. is. Yeah, a little <laughs> overshot a little bit there. You know, I, I'm wondering if they're aiming for that compound that's all the way to the south there. Thinking they're in that. You would think not because they just got shot at right up here by this canal or whatever it is. <laughs> Those are very long, though. Uh, I'm not sure how effective they're going to be. Oh, man. Yeah. You get more shots going out across the fields here. That's. INS and actually, someone just went down. Fields. Looks like Sober Pud just went down. I think it was Sober Pud, Ooh. yeah. Hamlet's up there. Oh, there they go. Ooh. They're walking it down. Yeah, there it comes. A little bit to the west, southwest, it looks like, but hopefully they get those on target. Those are huge for the INS. If they can get those on target, then it uh, just keeps the US indoors, keeps them from looking out their little windows. Oh, it helps it. It helped the there. insurgents so much during the first round. Getting yeah, well placed artillery a rocket fire. Key part of their assault there, along with that three prong. But uh, you know, INS is still looking right, nice and spread out. They're moving tech. in nice and slow, clearing out any contacts they see. Uh, we've got squads moving in from the north and from the west. Yeah, there is monkey bullet and magnetic right, off to the west. That, uh, that artillery is getting closer. They're walking it down a little bit. You gotta be careful, they're gonna hit their own guys too, though. Oh, yeah. And you know, those artillery are not the most accurate things in the world. Are you hearing command chat in on the insurgent yeah. side? Or on the uh, yeah, insurgent it, side? It's pretty sporadic right now. Uh, sounds like Shadow's just trying to get them organized, uh, trying to organize a good assault here. But they're taking heavy contacts every road they go down. You know, the US is nice and spread out like that. So it's hard to find a good route of assault to actually push in without contact. Insurgents are letting it rain with that arty, but they're just not in the right spot. They're not aiming in the right spot. Yep, they're uh, chilling right next to the uh, the resupply point, so they're going to keep these rockets dumping. You know, there's no limit to the ammo that they can use, just uh, how long it takes to reload. Google Trex is calling out enemy contacts just to their west in the field, so... Uh, they are aware that there are yeah, U.S. forces spread more, out in yeah, those yeah, fields. Yeah, that's actually Han Solo and Best Pony. That's, uh, right that's there by us. Google Tricks and Six Seasons. Behind them is Hamlet crawling. The whole time, Artie. Yeah. 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 Google Tricks and Six Seasons have been crawling through that field for about the past three or four minutes. So, taking it nice and slow, looking right at Best Pony. Party rounds are still a little bit long and a little bit west. But uh, it looks like Han Solo is actually going to get flanked by Monkey Bullet over there. Oh, they might not uh, even see each other. Look yeah, it doesn't look like they're even aware that they're there. They're looking we'll away. See, uh, to, oh. We'll see who moves first. Han Solo might see him first. Isn't there another one? Yeah, Meg's Nedic is to the south of Monkey Bullet, too. Uh, Google's going to start shooting here, and I think that's going to draw Han Solo's fire. Google's gonna take out Pony. Han Solo's still looking around. Yep, oh, Google Trex takes out Best Pony. One shot to the head. And uh, that sends Han Solo Han Solo. sprinting off. So like he might get Google, actually. Hey, there it is. He shoots oh, no, out. he just went prone. Dodges it. And oh, down goes executes Han Solo. Him. Good yeah. job by Google Trex. Nice little matrix right there. Uh, Truth Realm was wondering if uh, already shots are accurate or whether he should keep firing. We'll see what uh, squad leads say. 
contact near me. They contact are, me. in fact, not at all accurate, <laughs> but they're probably effective to a, a point, you know, because it's yeah, already and it's you coming. You never know. And you're going to get your head down. Yeah. Drop you hear right that in your coming. Compound. That, the U.S. may be getting comfortable with it. Yeah. Especially if it keeps hitting far away like that. And if they do get an accurate volley and, uh, you know, U.S. is still pushed out, it could be very effective for them. Oh, yeah. If they just adjust real quick, you know, they adjust a little to their left or their east, whatever you have, they will uh, really catch the U.S. by surprise. I can hear good local com uh, comms. The command comms have slowed down a little bit. Uh, Shadowed Ritual is uh, calling out for his team to surround this U.S. compound. Uh, squad 4 is now led by Mighty Memes, and he's trying to orient the artillery a little bit more to the east, so we might get some more accurate fire uh, coming down here. Well, you know what? Looking at it, we got a squad to the east, a squad to the west, a squad to the north. The uh, U.S. Looking, are getting surrounded again. They're going Alamo. Good for INS once again. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Squad is pretty much untouched. I think they've only lost one or two guys. Uh, maybe three, but they're pushing in here from the east. Getting real close to those U.S. compounds. Uh, I'm wondering if they're actually going to hold their artillery fire just because U.S. or friendly forces are so close. Here we go. Uh, we're dead even on kills though right now. 19 to 19. Oh, and a great grenade. Oh, I take it back. It's split on the over. other side of the yeah, wall. Barely I saw get over. Both of them prone thought they both went down, but they're chatting right now. Man, that was too close, they say. OD tap and gaming Brennan. Well, advancing is looking right down the right down the wall. Looks like gaming Brennan is gonna peek or maybe OD tap. Gaming Brennan and OD tap are reporting fob uh, locations right now. They can hear it inside these buildings right here, so. There we got some saw fire by Sensei Mike. And that's actually allowed OD Tap and Gaming Brennan to sneak it to the south. Advancing doesn't see them. Let's back it up a little, see what's going on here. Enemies are south of the compound now. Ines is just closing in from all sides right now. They are, and it's paying off for them. There we go, Sensei Mike sees OD tap and takes oh, him out. takes him out. Good shots there. Oh, yeah, Rockets was... coming in, whizzed right by advancing. Oh, it looks he like that wounded deck. both of them. Yeah, they're both bandaging. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's effective. Laying down suppression. I'm not sure, can the uh, 50 cals penetrate that? Uh, kind of the Hesco sandbag stuff? They can penetrate the sandbags for sure. Oh, there's a couple US going down. That was a squad leader there. Gaming yeah, they Brennan did a little drive-by. Oh, got a nice LAT hit. Who's that? Lil Jin runs out, blows up that truck. Gets two or three kills, it looks like. Uh, that was a good push by Lil Jin. Oh, Gaming Brennan gets dropped. I don't know who Ooh, just did yeah. that. Looks like Sightless did, or maybe Lil Jin. Uh, US guys are dropping left and right, though. The INS is just assaulting from all directions. Yeah, Crazy Russians off to the east for INS. He's one of the last dudes over there. Nasty Nate and Steve pushing in, coming hard right now on Zabari and D-Mind. Look at Nasty Nate leading the way. He's going crazy. He's coming in. We're going we're gonna to follow him right here. Look right on Nasty Nate's butt. Here he is advancing. Oh, he takes out advancing. Is he going to check his back? He doesn't need to. There's no one there. Uh, Nate says he's smoke. gonna try and poke in right here. Uh, looks like Maury's Let's vision see. is clouded by the smoke. We'll see if it's uh, yeah. If there's oh, there's a wall to there too. Site. Oh, Nate goes down. East. Who is that? Uh, oh gosh, like Grot to see yourself. Yeah, Groot got him Groot. right through that little got sandbag. Him. Good little, good little spot right there for him. We found. Gonna be hard Steve to push through that just wall. Like, Steve just mourned the loss of his squad leader. Uh, they're searching for someone that has a grenade. They're going to try and frag this guy in there, but... Oh, we're uh, really close on kills. Really close. I'm seeing... I think there's five or six INS guys left. Oh, six seasons just turns the corner and takes out Turner. Turner's flopping and rolling. 
and he's gone. As yeah, season's uh, moving through these compounds pretty well. Uh, he's going to confront Lil Jin here, though. Both fire shots. Oh, in six seasons, he just takes someone else out. Just took someone uh, else he out. He shot at Lil Jin. Uh, Lil Jin managed to peek back first. Ah, there we go. They're both. Uh, six season is a medic though, so he will be able to bandage and patch himself back up if he does get hit. I'm gonna back it up and see if I can see through all the fireflies. Oh, One, six season two. actually called out the radio location, so INS sounds like they're gonna try and dig up this radio before actually moving on. There's about five insurgents left. Hello there. There's about five. S U.S. I think it's five on five. Five on four. We just lost someone up north. So the U.S. are maybe have the advantage here. Oh, Ooh, crazy, crazy Russian, Russian goes down. Lil Jin takes him out. Oh, another kill. Gets oh, a, or six takes six season. season out. Yeah, Lil Jin is doing a great round this time. He blew up that tactical earlier, got a couple kills, and just uh, dropped those two right there. So oh, Yeah, he's kicking butt. Yeah, he's on fire right now, that's for sure. He's got some reinforcements coming in from his rear as well, so uh, we'll see if they manage to keep holding these buildings and keep that fob alive. Oh, yeah, he's got four. He's taking out four, so good job by Lil Jin so far. Jack Reynolds is asking. We don't know. Not many. Not many left. Oh, mighty memes taken out by uh, Zabri. Zabari. Tried to sprint in through the little compound over there. It's looking like two INS soldiers is all that's left. Oh, oh Lil Ginger got taken out. That was Steve that took him out and Meg's Netic down here on the southeast. Yeah. Are they the last two? They I the believe last two. they are. Yeah, Mags is banjoning right now. He's looking for a grenade, but oh, he's got that frag rocket. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't don't forget. Oh, did with... not clear his back blast. <laughs> Steve took a little bit of damage there. Oof to. Yeah, he yeah, may man. might want to take advanced right, weapons, <laughs> of course, for our SOTG program. Teach you. I'm not to wound your friendlies with that back blast there. Because that can actually kill. Uh, you know, if they're wounded a little bit, they can uh, take out your friendlies. Just try not to run because they can hear me. Gaming Brennan, 1 2 coming for you. Good job. We saw you pushing in, man. Uh, what is there? Three U.S. soldiers left, and they're nice and spread out, all holding corners. Yeah, yep. Uh, it's going to be hard for these two to push in and take no, out. No, there's three four. Of them. There's four. four. There's more Eats Kids, Group, oh. Zabari, and D-Mine 41. Uh, so yeah, two on Zabari four. and D-Mine chilling right in there. And Groot has been holding this entrance all game. It seems oh, like. five up, actually. There's five U.S. Uh, Epic Mission is still laying oh. behind that sandbag. Oh, yeah, and Sensei Mike is way back there. Holy cow, there's a lot of U.S. that left then. Yeah, five on two, so... Looking a little bit sketchy for INS right now. They're going to have so to... Gonna, <laughs> these two are just discussing the best way to get into this compound. It's not so good. All right. Well, don't die. If you die, I'm running in. They're pushing in right now. Magnetic just jumped the, the entry. <laughs> he said, uh, if anyone shoots at me, you're going to take him out, is what he just says. Groot's they're peeking gonna push again. In. He's yeah, heading they're back pushing in little... right now. Clearing out both sides. Ooh, they trade. Oh, Steve takes oh, out Groot. Yeah, good job Tell by Steve. Steve. Nice little double tap on the uh, little, or who was that in the corner right there? That was Groot in the corner. Oh, in the other corner was, don't know, uh, Mori Eats Kids. Oh, uh, yep. That's who it was. <laughs> oh, oh, and Demine and takes him out. That's a good game. By Demine. Yep, that's the end right good there. Good job by the U.S. What do they got, three left? Uh, three left, yeah. Nice and spread out. That was well done by INS. Oh, nice. Good game. Oh, a couple of good rounds there. Uh, bad luck for Karma's team losing on both sides, but looks like everybody still had fun. You know, those were good oh, they were, all around. Yeah, they were good games either way. It was like a back and forth both times where it looked like one side had it and then they, well, the other side came back and then the other side came back and it was great. It was like what you want to see, the dynamics of it are oh, yeah. irreplaceable. You can't 
you cannot script this. Always nice to see those uh, little comebacks here and there. You know, a good push by one or two soldiers can really make the big difference. And, you know, I think uh, Lil Jin with that RPG shot really disoriented the INS guys. So props to him. Uh, who else did good? Oh, there was uh, a lot of good plays. D mind holding those corners. He did pretty well as well. Looks like Nasty Nate dropped five for the insurgents on that assault that they pushed in. A lot of good, lot of good, lot of good plays everywhere. Oh yeah, all around. A lot of good, just good communication and good teamwork from top to bottom. And this is Spartan Trail is what this operation is. It's map is Cora. Uh, we had a lot of cameras. I'm going to throw a quick shout out to all of them. Of course, there's there's me and Kirkley's here. He's not a camera, but he's commentating. So big thank you to Kirkley. I got but, that uh, face for radio, you know. Yeah, baby. Some cameras are a crazy Russian, Digit, Google Tricks, Alexo, CMYK Matter, Krusty the Sailor, Truth Realm, Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, Hyper Evo, Big Yes, and Han Solo. Yeah, of course. Big thanks to those guys. Somebody that makes all these cameras come together. And his name's not camera, his name is Penn. And we always clap for him. Thank you, Penn. <laughs> Uh, this is Squad Ops. It's May 20th. Operation Spartan Trail. And we'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next one. I'll let you go. If you like us, squadops.gg. We have Discord. See you later.